Hi guys, in this video, we will be discussing about virtualization and its level. But before that, if you haven't subscribed to my channel yet, please do so. Before starting with the levels of virtualization, let us first understand what virtualization means. In computing, virtualization refers to the act of creating a virtual rather than actual version of something. This includes virtual computer hardware platforms, virtual storage devices, and virtual computer network resources. A simple example of virtualization is when you create partitions in your hard disk. Here, you are not actually breaking your hard disk into number of pieces, but virtually you are creating that many partitions of it. This is a picture showing different levels of virtualization. So let us study them one by one. Virtualization at instruction set architecture level. Every machine has an instruction set. This instruction set is an interface between software and hardware. Using this instruction, software can communicate with the hardware. So when virtualization is carried at this level, we create an emulator. This emulator receives all the instructions from the virtual machine, then it interprets them and then it maps those instructions to the instruction of the host machine. This technique is simple to implement, but as every instruction coming from virtual machine has to be interpreted first before mapping it, time consumed is more and hence performance is poor. Virtualization at hardware abstraction layer level. As in virtualization at instruction set architecture level, performance goes down due to the interpretation of every instruction. In this, we overcome that by mapping the virtual resources to the physical resources. So, when requests of accessing hardware comes to virtual resources, they forward it directly to the physical resources. But there is one catch here. Though we don't interpret every instruction, but we check whether the instruction is privileged or not. If the instruction is not privileged, normal execution is done. But if it is privileged, then control is passed to the virtual machine monitor, which handles them accordingly. As there may be many virtual machines running on the same host, privileged instructions may involve certain memory management instruction, which requires CPU's full attention. Hence, differentiating between non-privileged and privileged instruction is important. Even after many advancements, there are few exceptions which aren't caught, which is a drawback of this type of virtualization. Virtualization at OS level. In virtualization at hardware abstraction layer, each virtual machine is built from scratch. This involves installing operating system, application suits, networking systems, etc. In cloud, sometimes we need to initialize hundreds of virtual machines simultaneously. If we use virtualization at hardware abstraction layer, this can be time consuming. So, to overcome this, we have virtualization at OS level. Here, all the virtual machines not only share hardware but also share the operating system. In most of the cases, if virtual machines want to install different version of Windows, we can have the base operating system same and only install the differences in respective virtual machines. This can be done quickly. Here, we create a virtualization layer on the top of the base OS, which helps to partition and create as many instances or virtual machines needed. All virtual machines 
won't be able to differentiate between guest and host machines and each virtual machine will have its own partition of resources but here there is a problem as we are sharing operating system along with the hardware we can only have virtual machines of the same operating system family as the base operating system that is if the base or common operating system is of windows family we can't run a virtual machine on ubuntu virtualization at the programming language level or library level when developers write code for the applications to save the users from minute details of programming they implement various libraries at user level so various apis can be exported as user uses only the api and doesn't worry about the logic behind it this has given a new opportunity for virtualization so here we use library interfaces to provide a different virtual environment in short using this type of virtualization we provide an emulator that runs different operating systems applications on it a common example of this is wine tool which is used by most mac users to play the counter strike 1.6 game which was only available for windows virtualization at application level in this kind of virtualization virtual machines run as an application which runs on the host operating system here a virtualization layer is present between the host operating system and the application this virtualization layer encapsulates applications from the underlying operating system on which it is executed as applications are encapsulated before they are loaded virtualization layer provides a different virtual environment for them virtualization layer does this by replacing part of the runtime environment provided by the host operating system the virtualization layer collects all the disk operations from the virtual machines and redirects them to a virtual resource which is mostly a single file instead of many files spread across the system and thus it becomes easy to run these operations as a part of the applications on the host operating system if you like my video please like it share it and if you want me to make videos on related topics please leave some comments down below and thanks for watching